Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, finally, we're gonna react to the 10 major signs before Judgment Day by Merciful Servant. Up until now, we only reacted to the minor signs, twice actually, and you guys asked me, Bobby, please react to the major signs. So with no further ado, let's have a look. Man, this editing is always so on point. <laughs> the hadith is a Sahih Muslim that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came across the Sahaba one day. They were sitting in the masjid. He came and they were having a heated discussion. So he said to them, what are you discussing? So they said, we are talking about when Qiyamah will happen. We're talking about making a guess, when will Qiyamah happen? So the Prophet Wasallam said, Qiyamah will not happen until you see its 10 signs. Okay. So now he said there are 10 signs that are directly linked to Qiyamah. There are 10 that are definitely in a different category. Qiyamah will not happen until you see its 10 signs. Then he mentioned them one by one, and I'm going to quickly list them now. And inshallah, later on in our series, we'll go over each one of them in a lot of detail. Number one, he is says, this Yasser Qadi? The Dukhan is a dust, smoke, smog, the Dukhan. Uh, and by the way, all 10 of these are specific. These are not trends. All 10 of these are one-off incidents. Okay. So these 10, it is a clear-cut sign. Something major is going to happen, catastrophic, cataclysmic, and everybody will recognize this is one of those major signs. So number one, the Dukhan. No, and, and this is not an order. We're going to mention this. This is just 10 that he said. They don't necessarily be in this order. Number two, the Dajjal. And that is a long discussion. We'll talk about that. Number three, the Dab. The Dajjal essentially would be the Antichrist within Christian eschatology. And the Dab is the beast. And he's mentioned in the Quran. Hmm. That I didn't know. See, because the beast itself would then be the Antichrist. No, all of the Christian perspectives. So who would the Dajjal be? That is very, very interesting. And as I said prior, I would like to make a comparison video about the Christian eschatology and the Islamic eschatology about the end times. Number uh, four, the rising of the sun from the west. Yeah. So the sun rises in the east, that's in the west. One day it will rise from the west. Number five, Nuzul Isa ibn Maryam. The coming down of Isa ibn Maryam. Same. Okay, this is a specific incident, yes. and that is not ambiguous at all. Very no. clear. Number six, Ya'juj and Ma'juj, and the coming of Ya'juj. Within the Christian eschatology, yet again, Jesus is coming back, and he is going to fight the Antichrist. He's going to come with a sword this time. And Ma'juj. Okay, that is a major sign, and we'll talk about them and some of the problems that are raised by this issue. We'll talk about it very frankly when we get to inshallah. Okay. Number seven, eight, and nine, three zalazil, three earthquakes that will shake the world. There's going to be major. This isn't a regional earthquake. These are earthquakes that essentially the world will know it is an earthquake. Three zalazil that will shake the world in one hadith. Each next one will be bigger than the first one. So it's going to be three consecutive earthquakes that are the whole world will know that there is an earthquake uh, taking place. And then he said, Wa The last of these signs, number 10, the last of these signs is a blazing fire that will emanate in Yemen and will force the people towards Ard al Mahshar or the land of resurrection. The land of resurrection. The very last sign of Judgment Day will. Where will the land of resurrection be? Be the fire that will force people to gather in one place and that will be the end of humanity in that one place which is going to be in Bilad al-Sham as we will come to when we come to it. Syria. In another hadith he said, anytime one of these 10 comes, expect the other to come immediately after. So these 10 are like dominoes, one after the other. These 10, when the first one comes, khalas, the rest are going to follow very, very quickly. And the first of these 10, without a doubt, is the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. This is the first of these 10. 
The first of these ten is the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. And when Isa comes, the rest of these are going to come one by one. And that's it. Qiyamah will take place very shortly after the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. And the last of the minor signs links the first of the major signs. Let me repeat. The last of the minor signs links the first of the major signs. Okay, the last sense. of the minor signs is the coming of the Mahdi. The coming of the Those are basically the differences. So within Islamic eschatology, you have Mahdi and then you have the Dajjal and you have the beast. Within the Christian doctrine, however, you just have Jesus and the Antichrist. That's it. Mahdi is the last of the minor signs and the Mahdi will be... And this is why some Christians believe that Mahdi is actually the Antichrist. ...be alive and will interact with the first of the major signs and that is who? Isa ibn Maryam. Okay. So, the Mahdi and the Isa will coexist at the same time, same place, interact with one another. And it is literally as if the minor is coming to an end and the major is beginning. And then that's it. The rest will go uh, from there until Qiyam. All right, guys, and this is already it for today's video. Unfortunately, man, way, way too short. This was a summary about the 10 major signs. However, no explanation was found within this video. They talked about the Dajjal, they talked about the Mahdi, but they didn't explain it. So, guys, please do me a favor and link videos in the comment section which explain the end times longer. I would really love to react to such a video and learn about it myself. Because as for right now, all I can tell you is that there are differences within Christian eschatology and Islamic eschatology, but the details I do not know about. So therefore, please do me the favor and comment down below which video about the 10 major signs or major signs in general I should react to next. Thank you so much. But as for right now, if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support me on Patreon, for example, or otherwise, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.